Hi, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and I've got a small update for you today. Uh, I've been very busy. I haven't been writing as many articles or doing as many videos lately because I've actually been uh, doing some training on the uh, Comscore or Hollywood Software TMS, helping some cinema owners here in Australia upgrade their systems to some newer hardware and uh, upgrading the software, etc. And due to that, I've decided to um, do some work to make my um, Cinema Catcher app tools seamlessly integrate with the uh, the, uh, with that TMS and today I just want to show you how that works and how uh, if you get the latest version which I'll uh, go to now um, showing the 3.3.38 or above at the version number you'll be able to use this software to um, help uh, with your you know in conjunction with your TMS system so how does that work so let's quickly just have a look at how um, the TMS works so this is logged in directly to the TMS and on the TMS you've got storage drive, D drive usually. And on D drive, you've got the media directories which have the DCPs and other things that it stores. And in there you have the KDM delivery folder. Now in that folder, if you FTP into the TMS and drop any KDM into that folder, it'll munch on that and it'll either put it to the reject because it's not for specifically for that TMS. There's no screens registered to, to accept that KDM, so it'll be rejected. Or it'll go to the archive folder um, because it is a KDM that it's specifically for a player that the TMS is configured to do. So you'll see here that there's a, a little dummy FT, FT feature that has a KDM for that. So just keep it, keep that in mind. So if we now go to um, the uh, Cinema Catch app, this free tool, it's got a number of tools in it, but we're really focusing on Auto KDM. So again, we'll just quickly Auto KDM monitors uh, specific email sources uh, as long as you've got a, an IMAP source. Gmail and many other um, email services will give you an IMAP source or able to access your email via IMAP. It will scan and um, on, a, on, a, on an hourly or two times an hour basis and make sure that there's any emails which actually got KDMs in it. It will then read them in and suck in the KDMs and put them into a database and then do what it needs to do to make that all happen seamlessly and in the background. So if we look in the KDM directory, you'll see that there's KDMs that it sucked up. These are test KDMs. I've just been throwing some KDMs at it so it can suck them in and I can do some debugging. And you can see here the last KDM I sent to it was called Dummy Feature and it was actually targeting uh, the particular um, projector which is the TMS is programmed to look at. And therefore it uh, then FTP'd it up to the TMS and the TMS then sucked it in and added it to its KDM pool. As well as that, the Cinema Catch app sent it directly to the projector at the same time. So basically this acts as like a backup system. So for example, if your TMS did fail and it was hardware failure and it's gonna take two weeks to get the new server or something because the server is completely cactus, one of the things do you're doing is maybe running the site by hand for that two weeks, you know, a bit of a pain. But at least this tool would actually keep the KDMs coming in to make all the KDMs go to where they are automatically and you wouldn't have to do anything about KDMs. All that would be automatic. You just need to do everything else that you may need to do. So let's have a look how that works now. Um, if you go to the configuration of the Auto KDM tool, you'll see now that there's an Enable KDM to Default Server feature which you can turn on. And when you edit it, you can push this button and it'll load the default defaults for um, uh, the um, ACE TMS. Uh, all you need to really know is the IP address. You've also got some nice um, tools here like Test Config. Test config will make sure that you can contact the um, TMS, that the login is correct, that the folder that you're supposed to update, up, upload to is there, and that it can actually write a file into that folder. Uh, and then if that all works, it'll come back with successful. If any of those issues uh, uh, fail, it'll come back and tell you what's failing and how to fix it. Um, so that's really nice. But on top of that, because a lot of people may be running this tool for a, a, a chain, and you might have a catcher that's capturing all the all the KDMs for all sites and then you want to actually tell the system to for any particular program all the all the projectors and here all the players into here and for each player you can actually override so I edit that and I say use defaults which is the main default we can say no we want configuration per screen and instead of sending all of those KDMs to a specific TMS you could actually route all the KDMs specifically to the TMS that they're for, and therefore you've got a nice solution to 
um, automatically capture all KDMs automatically in the background, send them all to the TMSs that they need to go to, and it's all transparent and it's all automatic and you don't lift a finger ever. So you don't really deal with KDMs anymore unless you have a fault, for example. It's a nice thing about the auto KDM that um, if you do have a fault with KDM or when KDMs do come in, it does track um, all the emails or all the, the source. So if you need to do any sort of debugging of a KDM, all the data is there at your fingertips. And also, if for example, if your TMS did fail or if a server did fail or, or was offline for a few days, you can easily just um, click on a particular server like a head office and I can say click that button and any KDM that is currently still active in terms of not available after or in the not av in the available period, it'll flag them as to have to be resent. So it'll re-upload them all to the TMS or re-upload them all to directly to the player. Um, and that'll, you know, that's a good way to, to, to overcome when you do have failures and you've got to overcome your KDMs. If you've got the right KDMs, where are they, etc. Is it in an email? Not really sure. We'll click a button and bang, it's done. So that's um, a nice little feature uh, for the auto capture tool. It's free. Um, hopefully, some sites can take advantage of it. It's a, a, I hope this integration aspect that I added for the ACE TMS uh, is helpful. And yeah, that's James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek. And bye for now.